everybody, this is Charlotte of the Boyer Family Singers Vlog, and I am here to show you all how to do a lavender spring inspired makeup look. This features illuminating powder, some lavender uh, eye color, and uh, some glossy lips. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned if you want to see how I did it. What you will need for this look is a BB cream, finishing powder, eyeshadow for your eyebrows, coral blush, illuminating powder, lavender eyeshadow, sparkly purple eyeshadow, sparkly cream eyeshadow, white eyeliner, mascara, and pink lip gloss. Alright, to start off this look, as always, I put my hair back and have a clean, moisturized face. So, uh, what I'm first going to do is, of course, put on my base, which is my favorite Super BB Cream by Physicians Formula. And this is in light. I like to do BB creams uh, because they're much more lightweight than medium coverage foundation, so it's a lot nicer for springtime whenever you just want to have that effortless, clean uh, complexion. So I'm just going to be applying this all over wherever I have blemishes and not like just all over my face, just where I have blemishes that way. Um, I have um, a effortlessly uh, flawless complexion. Alright, now that I have that on my skin, I'm going to now buff it in with a buffing brush from Eco Tools. Yeah, Eco Tools. This is just to um, kind of bind it to the skin, so to speak. That's kind of a weird way to put it, but uh, it's going to keep it in place and make it just blend right in. I'm going to add a little bit extra over my more prominent blemishes. Just tap that right in. And you know, if you have like super red spots or anything like that, then totally go for concealer or a heavier foundation, whatever works for you. All we're going for here is just a effortless, effortlessly Flawless complexion, not like cakes and cakes and cakes of makeup. I never do cakes and cakes and cakes of makeup. So um, now I'm going to set all of that with some Cowgirl Dirt Silk Veil. And uh, this is just really going to sort of mattify everything and also absorb any oil and stuff like that. So I'm going to be taking a small kabuki brush, tapping that in, and lightly powdering wherever I put on some um, BB cream. And this is going to create a nice um, layer for more powder to be blended into, such as blush or illuminating powder. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with some Cowgirl Dirt Matte Eyeshadow, and this is in Saddle Up. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit at a time on an angled brush and just outlining my arch and filling in the bare spots. I have very sparse eyebrows so filling them in is a key part of any makeup look that I do. However, if you have like super dark eyebrows or super full ones like my wonderful sisters do, then you can totally skip this step. Now onto blush. I'm going to be using this pinky coral from Mary Kay and it's called Shy Blush. And this is just going to complement the rest of the look very nicely because it's a more neutral coral and it's more pinky too, which will complement the purpley tones of the eyeshadow. So I'm going to get a little bit on my brush and then tap it on um, my hand just to kind of set the powder into the brush. That way I get a very natural um, application. And it's not like over the top costumey, which is never good. And I'm applying this right on my cheekbone. very lightly with delicate strokes for very even natural application. I'm 
I'm going from the apples of my cheeks to my temple. So I get a nice glow all the way across my face. And now I'm going to apply some illuminating powder. And this is just going to give an overall glow to the rest of the uh, look. And it's just going to look very illuminated and pretty. So sort of uh, fairy-like almost, but in a very natural way. And um, this illuminating powder is from Fairy Minerals, or Fairy Organics, whichever you prefer. I'm just going to be applying a little bit of that onto a um, cream blush, blush brush. Um, and this I just find works great for highlighting. And I'm just going to be applying that right above where I put on my blush. So like really close to the eye, like right up here. And then um, right around my T-zone, right here, down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and on my cupid's bow area. To start out the eye makeup, I'm going to be um, first applying Rodeo Rose by uh, Cowgirl Dirt, and this is just such a gorgeous lavender color. I'm going to be applying a little bit of that, a little bit of that on a fluffy eyeshadow brush, and just putting that um, really on my brow bone and flaring out to the side. This is how I always put on my eye makeup, just because I find it flatters my eye shape best. But if you have a different method that you like to apply your eyeshadow, by all means do that. But this is really just going to be the base color. So, it's just going to give a nice purpley hue to the eyelid. And then, um, after that, I'm going to be applying some of this purpley shade from my Mary Kay at Play uh, eyeshadow palette, which this is in... Sunset Beach. I'm not sure if they have this collection anymore, but I'll link a similar one down below. Um, and so I'm just going to be applying some of this sparkly purpley color um, a little bit deeper in my crease, just for a bit more of a um, glamorous sparkly hue. It's a bit more purpley than the lavender. Alright, now after that, I'm going to take a white uh, eyeliner pencil and just lining my eyelid. And it helps to breathe on it to uh, warm it up, that way it applies more smoothly. Just a basic thick line, nothing special, we're going to be buffing this in later. And now I'm going to be taking this um, cream shade in the middle of this palette and actually putting that on a concealer brush. You never think to put a concealer brush on your eyelid, but I do. Because I don't have a very big selection of eyeshadow brushes. I need to remedy that fact. But um, I'm just going to be applying this all over my lid and uh, buffing in the white pencil into that color just to kind of gradate it up into the eyelid. And with very gentle strokes, because it's not fun to be tugging constantly on your eyelid. It's probably not doing anything good for it, either. And now just going all over with my fluffy brush, and just buffing everything in all together. One big happy family. And now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to be using my Cowgirl Dirt Lash Em Up Mascara. And I absolutely adore this mascara. It's perfect in every way. It defines your eyelashes, separates them, and makes them uh, much more defined than just normal eyelashes. So, it does take a couple coats and a lot of patience, but the um, effect is flawless.
And the way I like to apply this mascara is just to kind of just run my eyelashes through the spoolie brush and then kind of um, wiggle it up into the eyelashes. So kind of just smooth and wiggle. Alright, the last step to this look is applying lip gloss. I like to use Burt's Bees Lip Gloss in Rosy Dawn. And this is just a nice Barbie pink that comes up very natural on the lips. And that's the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Like and subscribe if you enjoy our channel. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye! I like to do BB creams. I cannot get this undone. A medium coverage foundation. And <laughs> I am starting to run out of this stuff, so it's making the ketchup bottle sound. I'm going to be going for a Pinky Coral Blush from Mary Kay. Whoops. <laughs> Try that again. I'm going to be using this... <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> now I'm not going to be able to say it. Okay, now to blush. <laughs> Alright, for blush, I'm going to be using this coral pink <laughs> tarnish. <laughs> I need to move on to eyebrows. I'm going to move on to eyebrows because I cannot keep a straight face. Okay. Alright, for eyebrows, I am going to <laughs> darn it. <laughs> it does um, define and uh, complement your eye an awful lot because, well, hello, they're up above your eye for a reason. So they're there to um, be accentuated by makeup. Not really, but I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, now to blush. I'm going to be using this pink <laughs> coral. <laughs> it's not falling! <laughs> See, it's not falling. I'm holding it with my finger, so okay. shut up. Put your hand over your mouth, please. Both hands over your face. I don't want to see it. <laughs>